swung on and hit out to deep left field, and this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left, and even 20 home runs for him now thus far, as it's now a 3-0 ball game. And this guy's got to be at the point where he's thinking, do we really need to play another team after at the plate, George Sierra, as the switch hitter, will take his cuts left-handed here. Decent numbers, but nothing amazing from the left side of the plate so far this season. There you go. On the Run ground. Two. Two. And boy, Got just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. And with that, in now, Peter Wilson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometime. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. Monty Brewster in now, hopped out in his first trip. 0-1 count and the pitch. Here's a ball, high pop-up. Adams is there for it. Ball, ball, ball. And that ends the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Number six stands now, in. Number six. Into the windup and the pitch. That gets that. down, and he's got himself a base hit. And at this point, I don't Not think you could hit. expect anything. Brian Caballero stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding it. They'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Well, I think we all know this guy is the whole package out there. He's homered earlier in the ball game. Now he shows off those wheels by taking second here on the stolen base. A pause and the 0-2. And here's a ball hit in the Halfway. air. Halfway, have a look. Sheely backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Patrick Kim is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good how to attack good, good. him again right here. And here's a ball hit in the air. Kid coming in. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And the run is in to score from second. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Boy, it's only the third inning here, and he's already given up more hits so far than he did in his entire start last time out. He hasn't been able to reproduce what he had going on last time. Striding into the box, George Sierra. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hey, we got one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. The batter, number eight. Robert Deal in now. Hopped out in his first trip. Hey, come on now, guys. Let's hold him. Set to deliver the 0-1. Hit hard to short. Fielded cleanly, and he'll turn and fire a desperation oh, throw to first. And the throw will not be in time, as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. Well, that's one way to get yourself on the scoreboard for the first time. They always say, get that runner home any way you can. And, well, this counts. It'll be scored an infield single and an RBI. Digging in to try it again. John Sheely, he hey, singled his Here last time up. Now the 0-2 pitch. On the ground is short. Two, this could be two. two. And the throw oh. forces him to lay out for that one, but he keeps a foot on the bag to record the out. Number six 
We'll step in now. Two for two, including a home run thus far. Yeah, having a pretty good one so far. We'll see if they pitch him any differently right here in this at-bat. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game, and it's now 5-3. to three. Kenny Kidd will stand in here. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey, come on now. Chopped weakly to the left. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. Peter Wilson steps in. He scored after reaching on a single his last time go, up. And everyone knows he's slumping right now, so we'll see if that got him going. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Throw in oh. time, and the side is retired. So one run on one base hit, the home run. One error in the inning, and one man left on. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. Redding is out in front here, nine to four. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Number six. To short, hit hard. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. Man, these guys have been aggressive here early in the count. Some people think, oh, you might want to take a pitch to start in that bat. And sometimes that's great, and it works out for a lot of people. But what you should be thinking is, Brian Caballero gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this. And a step off. Runner goes. Hey, get your hits up there. Come on now. Count. Here's the pitch. Taken for strike three. The throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Well, this nearly turned into a strike him out, throw him out, double play. They roll the dice and send the runner with two strikes, but the throw's just a bit late to second, so that'll be a stolen base. Patrick Kim ready for another at-bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. And for as hot as this guy's been recently. Hey, like you can up there, huh? Now to the plate, Teddy Collins. He reached base on an error and later came around to score last time up. You deliver the one and two. Now both runners are breaking. Goes down to get this thing as this is lifted in the air to straightaway left. Kid will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Now at the plate, Glenn Adams coming off the clutch two-run single his last time up. Now the double steal is on here. Right here. On the ground the to third. Backhanded. Oh, he may have been a little disoriented there or something. That's going to allow his man to reach first safely. Well, nothing going right on the mound for him right now. This is going to be scored an infield single. And that's just going to make matters worse out there as that loads the bases. Steve Uribe will stand in in another dangerous spot here in the inning as this ball game is hanging on the precipice of getting out of hand. Yeah, I think you have to get this guy if you're going to have any chance of sticking around. Even a single here might put this one out of reach. Here it comes on nothing and two. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And they get the force at home. Whatever works as the side is retired. So a good bounce back inning here after the five. Number six will come up now in yet another big RBI opportunity. Number six. And he's got four already, and he's got a chance to make this a game to remember. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, his third home run of the 
Monty Brewster digs in. He reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at bat. He hit the short. Throw not in time, and he's in there with his third hit of the afternoon. Yeah. Give him three hits now for the ball game. This one's probably the weakest of the bunch, but I doubt he'll be complaining. I know I wouldn't be. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top's player of the game. Yeah, it seemed like everything he touched turned to gold. He winds up with five hits in the game. Without question, a standout performance. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and... All right, tonight's double-A Eastern League action is drawing nearer as we welcome you back to our minor league. MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, it's the first of three to start the new week between the Binghamton Mets and the Reading Fighting Phils. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Who's the one to watch, E.K.? Well, I'll be keeping an eye on what that leadoff hitter can do in this one. Number six gets his first cuts now. The bases are empty, and there are two away here in the opening frame. Yeah, nothing doing so. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Cliff Fong set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Ready with the nothing in one pitch to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Number six steps in now. Into the windup and the pitch. This is line to left, but he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. And that's one of those plays where you... Greg Bunning is into the box for his second appearance. Hey, 0 for 1 with a fly out. 
Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Now a long throw home. And he is in there. And you can see the pitching coach. Number six will dig in. One for two, including a home run thus far. Yeah, he definitely got a hold of that one earlier. He put a good swing on it. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. Brandon Waterman will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't... He can make and the throw to first is there. The inning is over. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Number six will stand in again as he looks for home run number three in the ball game. As we flash you back here to his second home run. This was back in the fifth inning as he has the long ball working in his first few at bats. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Brian Caballero will stand in now hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot 0 for 3 thus far runner goes for third not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw runners are at first and third with none out hey, here we go come on now one time runner yes yes he's running again sent on the ground out to second and a rather easy first out but he gets back He's in safe. time, safe at second base. Burt Dubé takes his turn now, looking to add some insurance to their lead in the form of that run. I bet those guys in the outfield are going to be coming up gunning if they get any chance at all. Hey. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Number two will try and turn it around. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts thus far. Yeah, he's definitely been scuffling so far in this one. And you've got to have a short memory in this sport, guys. Or else games like this will eat at you for weeks. Here's a ball lined into left center field. And it's going to get down for a base hit. In to score easily is the runner from third. And the lead will swell to three now in the seventh inning. Took him a while to pick up that first hit of the ball game. But he made it count as he was able to drive in the run on the RBI single. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top's player of the game. Yeah, he connected on a couple of long home runs, really put his guys on his back and carried them to the victory. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Now from your exclusive home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show is on the air. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the Binghamton Mets and the Reading Fighting Phils. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Number six strides forward with a hot bat in his hands. Great numbers over the past few games. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Out in front of it, strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Come on, big guy. Stay hot up there. High in the air and on, deep to straightaway left. Escalona looks up. Gone! A solo shot here to left. Number 25 for him on the year. Number six stands hey, in. The shortstop, number six. Line drive to left. Escalona has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoked. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. 
number six. We'll stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Oh, and he turns another one around here. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. So a solo shot here to left center field, his second of the game, as it's now a 2-0 ball game. How's this for a welcome to the ball game? One pitch and... Number six will dig in. Two for three with a couple of home runs thus far. Yeah, getting another chance to go for that big three-homer game, Matt. It's looking very dangerous up there so far. Campbell ranging back to the track to the wall. And this one is gone, a home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center, his third home run of the ball game. Well, runs at something of a premium here in this matchup, so it doesn't make it quite as hard to find our top player of the game. Yeah, really a game to remember for that man right there. He winds up finishing with three home runs. Well, what surprised me was, after a while, why even pitch to him? So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. Redding comes out on top in this one, three to nothing. So long, everybody. For Binghamton.